Hi there, this is Miss Novakowski from My Home to Yours, and today's math project is a spinning heptagon. So this is using origami, and we're creating a heptagon, which is a seven-sided polygon, and you'll need seven pieces of square paper that will get folded together, and here's the underside, these are called kites, and then this top side here. So you'll need seven pieces of square paper, and then I'll show you how to fold each of them into a unit, which will then be connected um, together and then this can spin. Okay, so to make this spinning heptagon, we need seven pieces of paper and we're going to fold them into seven units like this that we're then going to put together to make this shape. So I'll show you how to make the base unit. So you start with one of your squares and you turn it so you have a vertex up at the top and one at the bottom and then you take the bottom one to meet the top one. So you're creating a diagonal fold, and then you open that up, you've got a valley fold, and then you're gonna do a half kite. So instead of folding both sides, you're only gonna fold one side into the middle along that middle fold there. And then crease that. And then you're actually going to just open that up again. So this, is, this line here is just being used as a marker for you. So then you're gonna take this corner of the triangle and you're going to follow this line up here doo -doo 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 -doo, and then you're going to match where that line meets this side or edge and hold that down and then you're going to crease this so now you've created this triangle here and this is actually a pocket because it has two pieces and a little opening there and that's important because we're going to fold everything into pockets in this project. So then at the back where you've got two pieces of paper, you just take the one in the front and you fold it over your pocket and then open it up. And now you're going to tuck that single triangle into that pocket. And this can be a bit tricky. There you go. And that's the unit and you just make seven of those. You can make them all the same color or you can make them alternating colors or just a combination. Um, you can decorate the paper before so you have different patterns and that looks kind of cool when you do the spinner if you've got different designs or patterns on there. So just make another one to go over it again. Take your square, corner at the top and bottom, bring the bottom one up to meet this on a diagonal fold open it up and make a half kite. So take the bottom corner again and bring it up to match just to that line, that fold in the middle. And then once you've got it matched up, then you can crease the fold. Then you open it up again, back to your triangle here. And then you're gonna take this bottom corner, follow up the line to that point on this edge and then you can crease this. And again, the more you crease, the easier your project will come together if everything's really nicely creased. Then you go to these two triangles at the top here and just take the one that's in the front and fold it over that pocket and then fold it back up. And so now you can more easily tuck this into the pocket. So you open the pocket up with your fingers and tuck that pocket in. And you just keep making those. So I'm just gonna make a couple more and then I'll show you how to put them all together. So you need to make seven of them. Okay, so I've got my seven different units made and we'll start putting this together. So you take two of your units and put them in the same position side by side. So with the pocket here and the vertex or corner point facing, pointing up. Okay. Then we're gonna take the one on the right and we're gonna turn it to the right 90 degrees or a quarter turn. So if this is 12 o'clock, we're gonna turn that point towards three o'clock on a clock. And this is creating a pocket here that we're gonna slide this piece into. So I take this piece 
and I see where the pocket is and I follow that line and I go to this outside corner here and that's what's going to slide into this pocket. This is going to be the center of our spinner where all these triangles meet down here. So you make sure that that's nudged in right in there side by side and then you turn it back this way and you know you've got it in the right position if you see a little triangle up top here and a little triangle on the side. And then the next step is to tuck these two triangles in. I said there was lots of tucking into pockets in this project and that's what holds it together. So again, I start with the top and I just fold it right over. So I'm just folding it over to get my crease here. Then I unfold it and then open it up. So I've got that little pocket there and I just put that in. And then for this triangle, I fold it over the edge of the paper, crease it down, unfold it again. And then this pocket is right here in the front. So I use my fingers to open that up and then I slide this triangle into that pocket. And basically you do that seven times. So you get the hang of it. Once you've done it a couple times, it just, you figure it out. But if you know, if you don't get it right the first time, just pull them apart and try it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn this a quarter turn and then I'm gonna get my next color. Let's try this blue one here. So I put my point at the top, my pocket here, Follow the line across and that's the corner that goes in. So I slide that in, matching up the centers, triangle at the top, fold it over, put it between the two, triangle over here, fold it over the edge, and then into this pocket. Okay. So now I've got one, two, three together. Turn it again. This is the pocket where the next one's gonna go. I think I'll do orange, turn it like this, point at the top, here's my pocket. And this is the point that's gonna go in there. Again, making sure that the centers are lining up for the spinner. And you can see I've created my two triangles, the little one at the top, the slightly bigger one on the side. I fold that one at the top over the paper and then open it up tuck it in between. For this one, I fold it over the edge of the paper, crease it, open it up, and then open this pocket with my fingers and tuck that in. And then I turn it again. And so now I'll do this color. Vertex at the top, here's my pocket, and the corner that I'm going to slide in to this pocket. Meeting up at the center here, fold this little triangle over the top, open it up, tucking it in between the two pieces of paper, folding this triangle over the edge. Well, those ones aren't lining up as well as some of the other ones, but that's okay, it'll still work. See how it's not matching up there? Fold it over the edge and then tuck it in to that pocket and then turn it. And then now my green, point at the top, ready to slide in. And you can see how this is coming together. You can see how they're all coming together around that center point there. Fold my triangle over and then between the two, fold this triangle over the edge of the paper, open it up tuck it in between and then turn. And now we're on to our last one. So here's my pocket ready here, ready to receive the yellow, a yellow top one up. And we're gonna slide that corner in. So you can see we're all together around the center there. And then I'm gonna fold my yellow, little yellow triangle and then put it between papers and then fold this triangle over the edge and then tuck it into the pocket. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because we've got all our seven colors, but we have to tuck the last one in. But this end of the triangle is flapping over here, covering this part. And so I'm gonna lift this up and show you what we need to do. So you're gonna hold this together carefully and you're just gonna move that bigger triangle behind 
this one. And now you can see that that pocket is there and you just slide in this one here, which was the very first one we did. Right. Slide it in and you can see it goes from being flat to popping to make it more three-dimensional like a spinner. Okay. So then we fold our triangle over just like we've been doing for everything else. Tuck it between, fold this triangle over the edge, open it up. And then this is it's a little tighter now, so this is a little bit tricky. Open up that pocket and tuck in that triangle. And there you go, there's our spinner. This is what it looks like on the back with the seven kites. And I'm just gonna spin it. So you can toss it, you can spin it like this, but it works really well if you sort of toss it like this. You can see how all the colors mix together. So enjoy your spinning heptagon.